Hello everybody, it's Icy New Year, and I am back here uh, talking about my map. And I wanted to go through uh, the first challenge. So, I'm going to go through this in creative mode real quick, because I'm probably going to get wrecked if I don't. Basically, the first challenge, as you can see over there, there's a little pedestal, which I totally forgot to reset. But normally, oh, yep, no, it's here. There's a disc on that pedestal. Uh, and basically, within this border here... Uh, this will be made prettier. It'll be like a natural edges here where I'm not sure how this is going to be doing. Crumpet's got to come in and give his aesthetic opinions. But for right now, it's just set to be functional. So, um, yeah. Basically, you've got 200 pigs in here. And they're spread out 100 in the first area and 100 in the second half. Uh, these aquamarine blocks here are just markers for me. It's the center at which it spreads from. Um, and you'll notice that each piggy has a piece of gold on its back. So, when you if you get too close to a pig and steal its gold, the pig dies and an angry pig man spawns. Now, it is night, which is the standard way to do the map, and at night they spawn, spawn with swords and are a little bit faster. Now, these guys do spawn aggressive. Um, yeah, so there we go, we got another one. And this will spawn one pig man per player on the server. So, even if only one piece of gold is picked up, well, here we go. Let's steal that piggy boy. There we go. Even if only one piggy's gold is uh, picked up, it's going to spawn, you know, if there's three people doing it, there's going to spawn a pig man for each of them. That way, it doesn't get easier the more people you have. So, I'm going to show you the challenge. I will probably die. Oh, it also gives you a weapon. Hay of pigs. Uh, sharpness three wheat. And that was my evil genius moment on this challenge. I'm super happy about it. Because it kind of forces you not to fight your way through. Because if you're attacked and you have to defend yourself, um, you're defending yourself with wheat, which is going to attract pigs. So <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. Let's see if I can sneak, sneak by him. Uh, the landscape is also not done. It will be very, very different. Oh, I am probably done. Quite often. Yeah, there we go. Quite often, you, you get kind of a chain reaction going on. And I haven't um, set up the spawn area to be perfect yet. Quite often, you'll get a chain reaction going on where once you spawn one pig man, things just get terrible. So, I'm going to reset. And let me pop back into creative mode. There we go. And I'm going to switch it to day to show you the differences there. And then we'll go through the command blocks that make this whole thing work. Sorry I have to fly over so far. Um, the way that I set day, I can't just do a slash set day, or, yeah, it won't work. And I'll explain that before I go back over there. So, beep, beep, beep. Well, I'll, I'll come back. I'll explain that during the command block part. Boop. And my titles didn't work. Huh, I'll have to see exactly why the titles didn't work. But during the day, the challenge is very similar, just a little bit easier. Because what happens is... Let me go ahead and reset it so I'm in, creative, or in adventure mode. So, during the day, the pigman... That did not work. I'll have to check and see why that didn't work. But during the day, the pigmen are supposed to spawn without swords. And um, slightly slower. Normal speed instead of the ever so slightly faster speed we have them on. So, how this works... Um, and again, actually, let me go ahead and kill the pigs. I'm getting a little bit. Come on, please. Oh, I'm not in creative mode. I realized I just reset, so I'm not in creative mode anymore. I'm gonna kill the pigs because that's gonna help us a little bit with the old lag. There we go. That should kill all the pigs and pigmans. Okay, cool. So, how this works this button starts the whole process, and this is also going to be triggered when you're teleported here. Uh, this is just here to remind Crumpet we need a way to teleport back if you don't want to do the challenge yet. So, that triggers this, <coughs> which kills all items within a hundred radius. So that takes care of this whole field, gets rid of all the gold that's dropped, uh, etc, etc. Um, this will set block air. Here we go. Set dummy player true. Um which I'll explain what these do, and this is going to clear the inventories. This will also come over here, and this is the nighttime checker. Uh, wait, sorry, this sets, um, this heals the player. This gives the player full hunger, 
and this kills the record that's on that desk on that podium so moving on this is going to test test and see if they already have this disc and if they uh, if they do not so if it's zero it sets the record there and then down here we have the magical resetter blocks that just reset the count above okay so here we turn off natural regen that way when you get hit you stay hurt um, it sets the difficulty to three so normal mode I believe that's normal is that hard there we go we need to set that to normal uh, sets your game mode to adventure mode kills all the pig zombies so any that are left resets I have oh wait that was just there because we turned this game mode one off while testing so we put it down there so we know where to get it from okay this sets a redstone block in the same place that that would set air and I'll explain that in a second magical resetter this gives you minecraft wheat one display name hey of pigs enchants ID 16 level 3 so that's the sharpness uh, wheat this sets the world spawn to right over there so you respawn here if you die uh, and then on a delay this sets a redstone block in the same spot uh, or sets a redstone block in a spot um, sets the block to air turn I have no idea why that's turning natural regen back on that needs to be turned off and then over here we're setting the button back because during this the first set air turns off this button so boop, button's gone and then eventually the button comes back once it's gone through the whole thing and the reason for that is to make sure you can't press the button while it's still triggering everything so in here this is the mechanism well let's show the other mechanism first this is the mechanism to create the pigs and it's not the most gracefully done but in here we have each one of these triggers four times we get a um, we're summoning the actually we're actually summoning gold and putting it um, it has a tag display name of pig gold uh, an age this is make this makes it so it does not despawn and then it's riding a pig with uh, speed on it we found out later the speed doesn't actually work on the pigs their AI just doesn't use the speed they still move at a constant speed but I left it on because I like the little jingle effects on them so this just happens down here till we have 50 of them so this summons 50 pigs uh, and where this actually summons the pigs is blue 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 we got a little pig hole over here so it summons 50 pigs into this spot right here um, then down here so what it does is it sets a redstone block right here oops not that it matters it's gonna set a redstone block right here which will trigger to summon the pigs out it'll also go through here so it tests to see if the dummy player is true this is pretty much always it. so if it's true so it's a one it's going to spread players so it's going to spread all those pigs so you type equals pig uh, across those the coordinates of those aquamarine blocks uh, by with a radius of 18 so that's the coordinate of the aquamarine block uh, attempting to put two spaces between the pigs at a range of 18 uh, then it sets this to false so this will be locked at false and it sets dummy player true 2 to 1 which is true so this test so then the next time the block is placed it summons 50 more pigs this is now false so it doesn't activate this one is true so it activates then once again this summons um what is this doing why is this summoning a pig um okay so that summons another pig for some ungodly reason this test to see if they've already gotten the, the nether star for this challenge uh and if they have if they have sorry it's a test to see if they haven't gotten it if they have not gotten it it summons one pig that has a nether star in its back uh that's a magical resetter block okay um then it spreads the players and then it sets the first one over here back to true so i don't know why this is summoning another pig it shouldn't be but it does I'll have to fix that later because that puts 50 because it should be 50 pigs in this part 51 pigs in this part one of which has another star but currently this is spawning 52 pigs whatever 
I'll figure it out later. And there's going to be the reason I have the soul sand here is to remind Crumpet we need soul sand patches throughout. Okay, so that's the summoning mechanism and the spreading mechanism. Now this is the core of it, how it how it searches to see if you picked up gold. And there are some like inconsistencies here, but whatever. So, this is constantly ticking and this is just uh in subtract mode. We had to give it a little distance because it was ticking. It was too close the first time, so we just added a bit of distance to the redstone until it worked. Okay, so uh, clear uh, all players of Minecraft gold, negative one, negative one. So this means you're not allowed to have any gold in your inventory. If you do have gold, it's deleted. And hold on, I can show you right here. So if I put this gold in my inventory, boom, it's deleted. And a pigman should have been summoned somewhere around here. I was in tight quarters, so it might not have been. Whatever. Okay, so it sends a true signal. It is going to kill pigs in a radius of three around the player, which is about the pickup range. Uh, now, the one problem with this, which I haven't worked out exactly how to get around, is this can sometimes kill more than one pig, which isn't a huge deal, but can be frustrating. Um, it plays a Thunderbolt. I'm probably getting rid of that. I just like putting Thunderbolts in while I'm testing. Actually, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, it is testing to see if it's daytime. Um, and it testing to see if it's... Sorry, if it's daytime and if it's not daytime. If it's not daytime, it is going to summon... So, here we go. Execute at A. So, it's at each player in relative coordinates. Which I should probably make this, like... I don't know. I'm gonna keep it there. Summon a pig zombie. This is this is a nighttime pig zombie. Uh, we're summoning it one, oh yeah, a relative of one, with equipment of a golden sword. Uh, this right here is the max anger ticks, so they'll stay long uh, angry for that many ticks. And that's how you summon an angry pig man. And we're giving them a generic follow range, uh, base of 60, so they'll follow you from a farther distance. And that's a magical resetter. Now, during the day, it's simpler. We're just summoning a pig man with this anger. So, no, no sword. They don't follow you quite as far. Blah. And that's just ticking constantly to see when we have gold in our inventory. Okay. So, that's all that. Uh, that's a clock we were playing around with. Let me see if it works. A little bonus video here. Can't remember if Matt ever fi uh, finished it to make it work. I don't know. I know I can manually pop one in here. Oop. Because what I was doing, uh, I don't remember which one of these he changed. Oh, here it is. This should fix it. No, that's not right. Uh, negative one. Is that going the right way? One, one, one. I'm trying to figure out which one of these he changed to fix it. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, this should be negative four. Should turn the clock back on. There we go. It just creates a uh, continually enclosing uh, ghost summons, which I can't actually see anymore. There we go. And we'll turn it off. Yep, just something we were playing around with. Uh, okay, so that is this. Okay, then the other part of this is right here. So the goal is to get to here. Um... I'm going to have to expand that range. It doesn't quite reach all the way out here, and I hadn't noticed before. But the goal is to pick up this disc and jump through here. Uh, my chunks aren't loaded. Great. That is why the nighttime thing didn't work. I'm in the process of adding vanilla chunk loaders to everything, but I'm not quite there yet. But the other part of this is there is a teleporter. When you jump in that, it teleports you over here. And that's super simple to do. Uh, I'll show you guys that now. It should be underground here. You can see the start of my chunk loaders. I just have to string them all the way back. So, that teleporter is here. TP back, challenge one. Test for... Um, te we're testing all players at this location. So that is the block right above that glowstone block with a range of zero. So if you step on that, it becomes true. Uh, TP all to those coordinates and a magical resetter. Uh, clear the... What is this one doing? 
It's testing to see if they have a nether star. That's the clear with a zero zero. It doesn't change their inventory. It just says, oh, I found another star. And if it is, it then sets to show that they've gotten the nether star there. And then we have two um, magical resetters. So that's that. And this will be a TP2. We just haven't figured out exactly where we want the TP2, the challenge, to be yet. So that's how all that works. Uh, if you guys... Oh, yeah, and then the nighttime thing is super easy. Scoreboard player set, dummy player, daytime zero. So that sets daytime to false. And then down here, set daytime to one, so true. Yep. That's, um... That's that. I'm thinking one of these might be in the wrong spot or might be need to be reset manually i'll have to test that in a bit we'll, we'll check real quick but that is the pig challenge um and how that's all going to work obviously there we go the sun, the sun has vanquished the horrible night and i haven't shown this yet actually this rebuilds this is going to be a lot slower in actual development but it's going to take about 45 minutes for this charge to rebuild we can watch it real quick and see the stages it's going to rebuild in. This is all thanks to Crumpet Boy. He did an awesome job on it. And one more stage. There we go. So that's how that charge rebuilds. These just disappear and reappear. Um, if you want to see how this stages work, I might as well throw that out there real quick. It's super simple. Uh, there's a clock here, which keeps track of, I believe it's this clock, let me see, uh, the recharge clock, it's this one, this one here, okay, cool, so we've got a hopper, passing button back and forth, okay, I don't know why there's two mutton in there, uh, it's setting the transfer cooldown to half a second on each side, every time it hits this side, um, this isn't correct. Sorry, this is the this is the clock to do turning on the day. Okay, so it's this clock. This is the recharge clock. So we've got an item hopper here. Same deal. Each time it bounces over, it activates this, which sets the transfer cooldown to 60, which is 3 seconds. 20, sec uh, 20 sec ticks per second. Same on this side. And every time it ticks on this side, we add one to the dummy player recharge timer. So that comes through here magical resetter block and then comes over here so every time it ticks um it's testing if it is a if it is a one it's going to clone the first area over there two three four etc so it's just going to clone each of the correct areas depending on what number it is so it's testing to see if it's a range of six to six which means it will be six which means we clone number six over so as you can see and this is the locking mechanism. We have a clock underneath there that when that number hits six, it puts a redstone block right here, which resets this transfer cooldown uh, to 60, so three seconds, and um, locks the clock so it's ready to go. Once we're in develop, once we're in actual production, these will be set to 3,000 per. Actually, it'll be a little more than that because that was when it was 30 minutes per charge. No, I want to make it 45. So as you can see here, it's now on charge 5. It's going to tick over soon. There we go. And it switches to 6. Right there. Okay. And then all that's doing is we have our 6 chunks of building here. 6, 5, uh, six, five 4. Ignore that one. 3, 2, 1. And it just clones those over. For those wondering, um, there are barriers in here. So that you can't get yourself trapped in building number one while it's rebuilding so yeah that's what's going on with that uh, and I think that's pretty much everything I've got to go over now I guess uh, I'll do a small teaser for the next challenge I'm building I'm not gonna say anything I'm just gonna show you one of the the early version of one of the effects I'm gonna be using there you go thank you for watching um, if you are enjoying this, let me know. If you want more information on the command blocks, let me know. Uh, I can probably put together a pace spin with all the command blocks I've used uh, in that challenge. Just, you know, raw text so you can match them up to the video. Um, 
But yeah, let me know down below. I don't want to do that if no one's going to be using it. Oh, and I just want to share this real quick. It's not a big deal. It's super simple, but it makes me happy. Yeah. Okay. Have a good one. Aww.